There's concern tonight about a new cell phone tower about to go up in southeast Portland. Clearwire plans to put up the tower soon at the corner of southeast 60th and Ash. That's next to the playground at Mount Tabor Middle School. Parents and neighbors are concerned about electromagnetic radiation and fear it could cause cancer. K2 Susan Harding is live there. And Susan, these people are, are taking steps to stop this from happening? They've been very busy collecting signatures on a petition, one of them you see right here on the power pole set to become a cell phone tower. As you'll see, it's just a few feet away from the playground at Mount Tabor. But we found out today why the parents might need a new strategy. Right. This Mount Tabor Middle School parent wants this power pole to stay just as it is. They're putting a cell tower on a school playground, and why do they have to do that? You Frank know? Spillers is leading the fight against Clearwire's plans to transform this into a 90-foot steel cell tower with three microwave antennas on top. Uh, worried that we're exposing our kids to more electromagnetic um, radiation that not a lot of us know about. Worried about childhood cancer, Spillers and more than 100 other parents have signed a petition against the Tabor Tower, sending it to city commissioners. The trouble is, cell towers are regulated by the FCC, not the city. Can the city say, no, we're not going to have this antenna here right by the school? We cannot. We are required to allow any cell wireless provider to provide service anywhere in the city. Arguing a cell tower could endanger school kids won't work with the FCC. It prohibits cities from making that argument. I'm not allowed to say we're not having these in neighborhoods. So, so this petition won't do any good. If the neighbors would send it to the federal government, it might. Unlike Portland, a handful of other cities recently passed cell tower regulations, including the restriction they must be 1,500 feet from a school. Why is Portland behind? Portland is supposed to be a progressive city. We're supposed to be leading in green, um, you know, and healthy, sustainable lifestyle. Fritz says parents, like Spillers, need to set their well, sights higher the and air. contact their congressmen. The bottom line, though, is we're going to have hundreds more of these antennas, applications for them in our neighborhoods over the next several years. And so if neighbors really care about this issue, the place to fix the problem is at the federal level. And we might be seeing more of this over the next few years. City Council says we should be seeing 800 at least of these cell towers popping up in Portland, mostly in neighborhoods. And they say they would like to see more federal research to see if there is a link with cancer. Live in southeast Portland, Susan Harding, K2 News. We will follow it, Susan. Thank you.